everyone, Miss Jeanette here. Do you know what I'm playing with? What do you think this is? It's Play-Doh. Do you wanna learn how to make your own Play-Doh at home? Well, it's your lucky day. I have a very easy and fun recipe for you to make your own Play-Doh. You don't have to go to the store and buy it. And all you need are a few simple ingredients that you have, probably already have in your kitchen. So let's get started. You will need a bowl to mix things in. You will need something to stir with. What is this? It's a spoon. Now remember, we're using our good speech sounds to say our words and say sentences. Spoon, what do we use this for? For mixing, for mixing, okay. We will also need a measuring cup. What do we use a measuring cup for? See the little lines here? It has numbers on there. We use this to measure things, to know how much of something to put into a recipe. So this is called a measuring cup. Can you say that? Measuring cup. We will also need some, do you know what this is? This is flour, flour. Can you say that? Flour, we will need flour. We will need some salt and some water and some food coloring. Now food coloring usually comes in red, green, blue, and yellow. Looks like, see these little tubes? So this adds coloring to any type of food, food coloring. All right, so we're gonna set these ingredients to the side and we're gonna get started. Okay. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to measure our ingredients. First, we're gonna measure half cup of flour. What do we need? Flour, can you say that? Lifting your tongue up for that L? Flour. All right, so half a cup of flour is about right there. See, there's a one and slash two. That's half, half a cup. So we're gonna take our flour and we're gonna measure. So let's pour our, what are we doing? We are pouring flour. What color is flour? This flower is white, white. What does it look like? Looks like powder. See, it's powdery. It's very fluffy. And what do we normally use flour for? We can use flour for baking things or for making Play-Doh, which is what we're doing right now. Okay, half a cup. It's a little too much, so I'm gonna pour a little bit out. Half a cup. So I'm gonna pour this into our bowl. Next, we need some salt. What do we use salt for? We use salt to put in our food. It adds flavor to our food. You can also use it to make other things like Play-Doh. So we're gonna need half a cup of salt. So we're gonna pour the salt. Can you say that? Pour the salt. So here we go, do you see that pouring? Half cup. What does salt look like? Very similar to flour. It's also white and it kind of feels like, it feels grainy, it's grainy. A Little bit more. little bit more. Half cup. There we go. So now what are we going to do? What's next? We're going to pour the salt into the bowl with our flour. There it goes. 
Okay. So let's give it a little mix. Mix, mix, mix. Just a little bit. Now we're going to take our half a cup of water. So here's our water. Let's measure half a cup. Okay, half a cup. And we're going to slowly pour the water into the bowl. Not all at once, very slowly. And as we're pouring, we're going to mix. There we go. Slowly pour. And what am I doing as I'm pouring? I'm mixing, mixing. You wanna mix these ingredients. And it's soon, at first it's gonna look a little sticky, but keep mixing. Okay, looks like I put all of that in there. So we're gonna mix, 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 mix. What are we doing? Mixing. What's in here? Flour, salt, and water. Okay. Now this looks a little sticky, so I'm going to add a little bit more flour so it won't be so sticky. Just a little bit more. Okay, let's continue to mix, mix, mix. And you wanna keep mixing it. And when you see that it starts to look and feel like Play-Doh, you can actually pick it up with your hands and that looks about right. That looks great. See, it's no longer sticky. And now I could pick it up. It's a little bit sticky. Let me add just a little teeny bit more flour. There we go. Mix that together. This is looking really good. It feels really nice. Look, this, is it starting to look like Play-Doh? So what we're doing right now is called kneading the dough. Knead. Looks good. So, we're going to knead the dough. When you knead the dough, all it means is you're going to press it Press the dough together and until we form a ball. Look, is, does this look like Play-Doh? It looks like Play-Doh. It has no color, but you can, you can press on it. It won't stick and you can shape it into things. Now, you can play with this just like this, but if you wanna add some color, we need to use our food coloring. So if you have food coloring, go ahead and take it out. I'm going to make two different colors. So I'm gonna break this into two balls, okay? It's a little bit sticky, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more flour to this. You don't want it too sticky or else it will be hard to work with. That's better. Add a little bit more flour to this one. So what can we add to our dough so it won't be too sticky? Flour, that's right, flour. Okay. Let's see, what color should I use? I think I will make blue. Blue Play-Doh. So, can you see these colors? There's blue. Can you name them with me? Green, yellow, and red food coloring. And if you look on the box, these cookies, the frosting is made with food coloring. Okay, so here I go. Here's our Play-Doh and I'm going to make a little well. I'm just gonna press down, press, press, press. Can you say that? Press, lift that tongue up for that R, press. So I made a little, a little well. I'm gonna put four drops 
of blue food coloring. Count with me. One, two, three, four. Okay. Four drops. Now all we're gonna do is we're going to squish it together and we're going to knead it again. Knead the dough, knead the dough, knead the dough. Can you say that? Knead the dough. Now, this is getting all over my hands, so if you have gloves, use the gloves. Okay. See, it's getting on my hands, but it's okay. So, knead the dough, knead the dough, and we're gonna keep squishing it together. And the more we squish it, the more it's gonna mix the Play-Doh, mix. What color are we making? Blue. Blue what? Blue Play-Doh. Can you say that? Lift up your tongue for that L, blue. Play-Doh. Look, it's turning blue. That looks really nice. Look at that. What do you think? Blue, it looks pretty cool, right? Okay, let's make our other color. This time I will use, let's see, what color do you think I should use? Let's see, we used blue. I think I'm gonna use Red. Pull out the red. What color are we gonna use? Red. Can you lift up your lift up your tongue for that R sound? Red. Red food coloring. So remember, we make a little well in the center, and we're gonna put. This time, I'm gonna use three drops of food coloring because I don't want too much red. Count with me. One, oops, two, three. Three drops of what? Red food coloring. What do we do next? We're going to, remember that new word we learned today? Knead, knead the dough. And what does that mean? It just means you're pressing the dough together. So knead the dough. This red, looks like we need just a little bit more flour. It's kind of sticky. So if it's too sticky, what do we add? Salt? No. Water? No. Flour. Knead the dough. Knead the dough. Can you say that with me? Knead the dough, knead the dough. Now, since I just made blue, I still have a little bit of blue coloring on my hands. So that blue is getting onto this, this red, but that's okay. It'll look like a rainbow. Knead the dough, knead the dough. I see that red coming, do you? Just knead, knead, knead. Did you guys get to make the fruit pizza last week? I had lots of fun making that for you. We used, do you remember what we used? Pita bread, peanut butter, and what did we put on top of the pita, of our pizza? We used fruit toppings. All right, I get, I hope you guys got to make that. A little bit more flour, because it's a, still a little bit sticky. Okay, I see that color really coming through. Let's see. Look, looks kind of pink, doesn't it? That's a nice color. If I want it to be even more red or a darker color, I would add more drops of the red food coloring so it could look darker. 
but I'm happy with this pinkish color. Okay, guess what we do now? We've made our Play-Doh. What do you do with Play-Doh? Play with it. You make shapes. You might have one of these in your kitchen. Do you know what this is? It's a rolling pin. What's a rolling pin used for? A rolling pin is used to flatten things. So if you've ever baked cookies, you might roll the flour. So if you have a rolling pin at home, take it out and you can use that to roll your Play-Doh flat. So we're gonna roll it flat. We don't need to buy tools. We pretty much have everything we need in our kitchen to play with Play-Doh. Look how flat it made the Play-Doh. Wow, look at that. Nice and flat. It's marbly, I like that. Little, little hole right there. But you're gonna roll it flat. And if you like to bake, you might have some cookie cutters at home. I have a few cookie cutters right here. Here I have a duck. Can you tell what this is? A dinosaur. What shape is this? Heart. So I'm gonna use cookie cutters that I already had in my kitchen to make shapes on the Play-Doh. Start with the heart. So I'm gonna put it on, we're gonna press. Can you see that? Press. Let's see. Here it comes. Okay. Look. There's our heart. Now I'm gonna play with, I wanna play with my pink Play-Doh. Okay. My pink Play-Doh. If you don't have a rolling pin, you can use a cup to roll and flatten your Play-Doh. Here's a cup right here. So all you do is you put it on its side and you press down on the Play-Doh. So, as you can see, making Play-Doh and playing with Play-Doh is very easy because you can use just about anything that you have in your kitchen. If you don't have cookie cutters, you can use something else in your kitchen to make shapes. If you turn this cup to its side, you can see that it's shaped like a circle and we can use this to cut out shapes, circle shapes. Here we go. I'm gonna make a circle. So I'm gonna press down on that pink Play-Doh what shape did I make? Let's see. <laughs> There's my circle. You can make uh, you can make a pizza. You can get your blue, make some blue pepperoni. Put it on there and make it look like a pizza. A silly pizza with blue pepperoni. Or let's make a face. I'm gonna make a happy face. What do you think? I made a happy face using my pink Play-Doh and my blue Play-Doh. That looks pretty cool. You can make other shapes too. See, I can use my duck. How about we make the dinosaur? So I'm gonna use my cup and flatten the Play-Doh. Can you say that with me? Flatten the Play-Doh. Let's take my dinosaur. What color is the dinosaur? Red. I'm gonna press, press the dinosaur onto my pink Play-Doh. 
I'm going to lift up the sides, well, the extra. And let's look at this dinosaur. Remember, if it's too sticky, add some flour. There's a dino. Pretty cute, isn't it? Okay. So, what did we make today? Play-Doh with just a few simple ingredients. We used flour. What else did we use? Salt and water. Three simple ingredients. All we did was mix it together. And if it gets sticky, you add a little bit of extra flour and it'll help it be not so sticky and you can work with it easily. All right, so I hope you get to make your own Play-Doh at home to have lots of fun making shapes. There's all sorts of things you can make with Play-Doh. Now this Play-Doh, once you make it, it lasts about four weeks, a month before it starts to get icky. So if you wanna put it away to make it last longer, just put it in a plastic Ziploc baggie, baggie, put it in the refrigerator and it'll last about a month, okay? So I hope you had fun with me, I had fun with you. I will see you next time, guys, bye.